acceptable in the Sarah president and vice president designates until new elections. That's if they have to take over our political process now before an election. Uh, because depending on when that they get the green light to go ahead and implement this agenda, if Bush and Cheney are still in office, and they will just have them arrested for being the treasonous traitors that they are, so they can put their own people in office. Uh, this requires the president's designate to declare peace and ends U.S. aggressive military actions immediately, which means an end to the Iraqi war or end to the Iran war, whatever war we're in by then. Uh, abolishes I the IRS. Uh, it gives a flat rate, non-essential, new items only, sales tax revenue for government, and many more improvements. And this is what the Bible Code has to say about it. A fake Jesus will run this era. This Jesus is a deceit, a fraud, uh, a chief, a general, or a president. It's a ministry, an agency, it's an abomination, it's disgusting, repugnant. Babylon, which is a, a term for America, uh, it will backfire on America. Announcement, emergency, brotherhood, establishment, undertaking, project, calamitous, illusion, delusion, fallacy. Uh, other terms found in the codes. Corrosion, demonic, ghoulish, falsehood, lie, backfire, Babylon. Cheated, deceived, fooled, nation, people. Satan, ministry, inform, improve, falsehood. So the whole thing about how it's going to improve America is a falsehood. Uh, and it also, if this came down to it, Bush Cheney indicted, accused, death, assassination, murder, pavilion tent, March or May. World numb, shock, overpowering, shocking announcement, pact, concordat, terror, horror, terrorist, phony, Lord Yahweh, backfire, savage, uncivilized, fraudulent, phony, fake, deceitful. Uh, and these are terms in regards to, uh, Maitreya and Sananda, the people behind this, Nasera. And this is uh, some kind of a concordat. It's an agreement. Everything about Daniel 9.27 comes to mind when I'm looking at it in Ron Paul's code because uh, it comes across the same thing. It's an accord. It's an agreement. It's a pact. And it will be annulled. There is an annulment. Uh, they use it as a foot to get in the door. Tell all the little sheeple what they want to hear. Uh, and so as soon as they're, they're here in America, they've been accepted to come. Uh... Then they can turn around and implement their real agenda, which is destroy most of America. Uh, either you believe us and agree with us or you die. <laughs> They're going to implement everything uh, that the Bible says it will. The last day's prophecies are all going to be fulfilled. You know, they're all going to be fulfilled. Whether it's through Ron Paul or Hillary Clinton or whoever else is at the helm of the United States. Because whoever is at, as president of the United States is part of the whole agenda. It's not like they're just going to be deceived at the very end, folks. They're in this from the beginning. Uh, and whoever is president will give the, the rulership of America over to the Antichrist. And so it doesn't really matter who is president. And it's like I said, at least with Hillary Clinton, you know, she's going to hit you and come right in the face with it. With Ron Paul, he's just going to stab you in the back. Uh, and so, you know, I don't even vote, so... I'm not telling you who to vote for, because I, you know, what I believe is is choosing the lesser between two evils is still choosing evil. So I don't vote. I know they're both evil. I know everybody running for office is evil, uh, and the Lord has told me not to even pay attention to all that rhetoric, uh, because as the Lord's believers and the Lord's warriors, we need to be quietly preparing for the cleansing or the martial law, whichever route we go, uh, takes place. Yeah, I know you're probably going to be hearing uh, from other code sites. Oh, this code shows Hillary Clinton's running for president, going to get elected. And this shit, this one says Ron Paul's going to get elected. There can be three or four different routes, up to five routes. That's why I didn't even bother to see, okay, is he going to be elected president? Because I'm sure I could find one for Hillary Clinton. I'm sure I could find one for Ron Paul. Just as much as I find one that he was elected, I could find one saying that uh, he wasn't elected. Uh, because everything goes on man's free choice. Ma everything's based on man's free will. And I've always said, if we go down this path, then this is going to happen. If we go down that path, then this is going to happen. And the Lord always allows man to decide which path he's going to go down. Uh, and so, you know, most people just need to be busy stocking up and preparing for the coming famine. Because there is a coming famine. Uh, and that's what they need to be busy doing. Is getting ready for the famine. Also, I believe... Uh, there could be like a six-month gap between 
uh, when this Nasera starts and when the actual first fruits rapture takes place of the first 144,000. And so you need to be stocked up for six months at least. When the Antichrist comes to power, folks, um, you're not going to be killed for not accepting the mark of the chip. You're going to be killed for refusing to worship the beast. And this this tends to make me think that somehow in public places they're going to demand at, at certain times or whatever that you worship the beast. So I think they're going to, uh, I don't know if they're going to put up these statues everywhere, how they're going to catch people that don't worship the beast. Uh, I really don't know how they're going to do that. Uh, the Bible just says if you don't have the chip or the mark or the name or number, you can't buy or sell. So you really can't participate in economy. Uh, you can work, but you can't buy gas, you can't cash paycheck, you can't buy food. Uh, you can't do anything if you don't have the, the mark of the beast. Uh, but if you don't worship the beast, then they'll kill you. Uh, and so it leads me to think that somehow they're going to put up statues everywhere of this beast. And they're going to demand people worship it, take them by surprise. Maybe stop a group of people in a mall and say, worship the beast. And if they don't, they kill the ones who refuse. I don't know how they're going to do it. Uh, but I do believe that once that's implemented, is when the Lord will, will require his, his believers, his warriors, to stay at home. To not be going into public places. And so, I believe we could be uh, shut up and hidden for at least six months. And so, um, that's what you need to prepare for, folks. Not only do we have a famine coming. Uh, but this whole thing with the worshipping the beast and people want to know well, when are we going to be raptured out of here uh, the truth is the majority of believers today uh, these big mouths that all they do now is run their mouth about how they hate the truth and how they hate me and everything else are going to be uh, in the number of the altars uh, the souls under the altar in heaven and the revelations fifth seal they're going to be killed during martial law and this, or this whole cleansing thing coming to earth uh, they're going to be killed they're going to have to show and, and prove that they really do love the Most High. Uh, because uh, many of us have already been tested. Uh, over and over and over again. And uh, I do believe that's why the rapture. The first fruits rapture is so small. The 144,000. Uh, but I think we're going to be here for six months. After the Antichrist arrives. Uh, certainly no pre-tribulation rapture. You can throw that right out the window. <laughs> I know a lot of people say you can throw a mid-trib rapture out the window as well. Uh, but that's something that uh, I would have to disagree with. Uh, at least for the majority of the people, maybe. Uh, but the 144,000 will be taken in the first fruits rapture. Uh, and so, I, th I know that the Lord will protect his other people during that time. Uh, the Church of Philadelphia, he promised to protect during the last half of the tribulation... Uh, that his people wouldn't suffer his wrath. And that is what the second half of the tribulation is. It's his wrath. Uh, and so the, the first half, the first six seals, pretty much implemented by man and by Satan. And so uh, you have the first half of the tribulation period of, of Satan's wrath on earth and on mankind. And then you have the second half, which is God's wrath on mankind. Uh, and we know that's not going to be a picnic. I mean, I've been talking... Uh, for years here and there things he shows me uh, visions he gives me on things to come uh, and so right now I just want to focus on the things that are that are happening at hand uh, I've seen so many people falling head over heels into stupidity over this Ron Paul uh, and it's uh, <laughs> uh this reading an email <laughs> uh, folks if your browser isn't working on uh, the radio website. If you click on it, nothing happens. Uh, all I could tell you to do is, is try a different browser. I use Avant Browser, A-V-A-N-T. Or just reboot your computer. Uh, because if there was a problem with the links on my site, I'd be hearing from thousands of people. Because just in the past week, I've had thousands listening to the downloads on my site. Uh, so the links are fine. But if, you're, if, you can't have, if you can't access the links, try rebooting. Your memory is... is uh, uh, too full or whatever. I've had that problem with my own computer itself. Uh, and so just try doing that. Now, if you have a question for the show, you can send it to sherrytalkradio at yahoo.com or you can use the send a question to the show link on 